we are to save Earth, Rockwell must be stopped. If there's anything left of the person that Helen and you, Edmund would want to be stopped. Wildcard, please stop. Stop making me sad. During the extra life, they showed the introduction cutscene to Aberration, and this one is my favorite so far. I was excited to see the Aberration cutscene, and it did not disappoint. And yes, I was of course hoping to see May and Diana, but they're still extinction, and possibly an extended ascension like the island has. While the others have had images from the Explorer notes mainly, these have what I think are new images, unless they are from the dossiers. This. I'd assume is aberration from before the Ark broke. It does not look too different from the aberration we have now, with massive mushrooms and trees. But this has to be aberration before, since the obelisk is right there in the forest. And there are also clouds, which would not be possible after the dome was destroyed. It was already shown to be an island in one of Diana's notes, but this shows what some of the landscapes look like. And here is an illustration of the station exploding, which is very cool to see, because I don't remember the notes ever having an illustration of that. And the only thing we've gotten to see in the game itself is the arc after it had already broke. And once again, the music is absolutely incredible, and I cannot wait to hear it separately. This image of Rockwell is from an aberration note. While the cutscenes do seem to spoil a lot from the notes, there is still a lot that you have to discover by reading, and I hope that this encourages more people to read the notes. If we are to save Earth, Rockwell must be stopped. If there's anything left of the person that Helen and you, Edmund would want to be stopped. And this quote. Wow. That is really interesting. I wonder if that is true? The new notes are giving us more of Rockwell's side of things and his perspective after he ascended and i am wondering if sometimes maybe it is the case he still wasn't completely a good person in the beginning siding with nerva not completely caring about those he gave his experiments to but i don't think he was entirely evil or at least not as bad as he is now it makes me a bit more interested to see how he is portrayed in the show the quote reminds us that Rockwell was once a person. It is very interesting that often, when she talks about what Rockwell has become, she calls him Rockwell. However, when she talks about the person she knew, she often calls him Edmund. This is even present in the ending of Genesis 2. And I love the imagery here. The split between human and corrupted aberrant Rockwell. Also, a bit of the dialogue from the Rockwell fight in Aberration. I wonder if there will be more throughout, or if this is his only dialogue. Anyways, this man just likes yelling. My plan is to eventually talk about the other cutscenes that they released for the island and Scorched Earth. However, I do not have a Switch, and with potential Arc 2 news soon, it might be best to wait until they are out on other platforms as well. And previously, I have talked about the ones that were shown in previous live streams. 